this tutorial is designed to show you how to upload flash video uh, to your website using WordPress templates uh, now what I'm gonna do we are using a Obo films website and we would also be using the control panel for Obo film I already created a page called web and on this page there is presently nothing on this page what I'm gonna show you uh, just in case you have a website uh, primarily designed either to feature video or to promote uh, advertisement uh, or you just want to be able to load flash to your website I'm gonna show you how to do that all right uh, now what I do is I open a page on the website we are using and I'm also gonna go into the control panel just go ahead and go into the dashboard of your WordPress uh, if I sound a little tired uh, forgive me it's supposed to be sleeping it's 3 30 in the morning but I couldn't sleep so I decided to give this tutorial uh, all right now I opened several pages I'm gonna create one more control panel all right what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into the page for web as you can see that is empty here uh, The first thing we want to do is let's just go ahead first of all to go and upload a flash video uh, into the media so go ahead and click on media already as you can see we already have a flash video loaded here uh, which is this video but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete this video and show you how to load it. So I click delete permanently. Okay. All right, that video is deleted. Once you click on media, you can go to add new. And select. Select file. And this is the video. Click. This video is edited with uh, an SWF format. You know, even though it's MPEG 4, but it's M SWF, which is a, a format for flash video to be loaded to websites. Uh, I think you have like FLV. M O V S W. Uh, let me see. I wrote it down somewhere. S O V M O V W M V, uh, which are normally the format that is normally used uh, for flash video to be used on any website. Uh, most of the video are uh, recommended to be rendered in mp4 format all right uh, this one was rendered in mpeg4 so i'm just gonna go ahead and upload i clicked on it and as you can see right here at the bottom is uploading once it's done uploading it's a crushing now it's been uploaded just click on media click on media 
as you can see the video is uploaded now occasionally for some of you that might create a flash video and uh, WordPress is not recognizing it or would not uh, upload your flash video what you need to do is go to plugins I'm gonna open another page and go to plugins add new have you ever heard of snack epilepsy? no Sorry, it's when that's you are just part of this class it's just some crazy advertisements coming up all right go to plugin and All right, and click on add new and this is gonna come up and go and search for allow SWF upload allow SWF upload and click enter As you can see, allow SWF upload. I already installed this plugin. All right. Uh, once this comes up, as a matter of fact, you can click on it. Oh, normally it does have something like a screenshot, but this one does not have a screenshot. But that's it, that is okay. Uh, what you're gonna do is click on install all right uh, and it's gonna ask you do you want to install this plugins you click OK and it's gonna start installing I'm gonna open another page for the plugin once it's installed it's gonna look like something like this when it's finished installing it will say activate button on the bottom left hand side and you click on activate and then it will go to once it's finished activating it will go to i know that was a dashboard control panel but i was just showing you uh it it, it will display first of all when you install the plugin it will display like this then it will have a button at the bottom that says activate you click on activate all right that particular plugin i was showing you earlier which is allow swf upload uh, i installed it as you can see it says installed and, and once it's installed it this is it right here allow swf upload it's been activated all right and once this is installed to your wordpress you will be able to go to the media library on media add new and select the file that you want to upload either on your hard drive or on your computer click on it click open and it's going to automatically upload it all right you will see the progress on this side as it's being uploaded and once it's finished uploading go to media one more time and the file will be there waiting for you all right at this time if you click on this file this is the video that we uploaded this is the flash you can click on it and, you, and it will play continuously without stopping now now what you want to know understand is pay attention when you click on this video all right it displays some content on the right hand side it says url you're gonna need this information to be able to to activate uh to be able to display this video using the plugins that was downloaded to play it on your site all right
right now that video is been loaded into the that video is been loaded into the media library what we want to do next we want to display this video on our website all right so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the site that we want to display this video uh, you're going to go to the page click on page and you're going to go to we created web we want it these are all the different uh, pages that i created all right so if you have not created any page you're not gonna see any of this this is not uh something that automatically comes with wordpress we i created them you know as you can see the home page once you click on it this is what you have is an upcoming upcoming event i have coming up you can see my tutorial on how to create pages and it's gonna show you how you can create all those pages it's very easy all right uh going back and we're gonna click on web which is the page we are using for this tutorial as you can see this web has nothing on it everything is blank that is why when you click on the main website for web on the main website for the web page there is nothing there absolutely nothing all right now what we're gonna do we're gonna add that flash video to this page all right as a matter of fact we're gonna add it to the footer as you can see this is the page and if you pay attention there is a line that is drawn across the page anything beneath that line is considered the foot the footer of the main page so the widget we're gonna use that widget to load the flash at the bottom all right on the footer uh, okay this is the main page all right uh, I don't really think we're gonna do anything with this page because we're about to use a widget all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go to this is another page I'm gonna go to appearance widgets now keep in mind remember that we widgets are plugins plugins are widgets all right when you need to display uh, either a video or videos or picture videos or slideshow pictures anything on your website and you need a widget to perform that function you have to go and download the plugins for that particular widget all right once you download this plugin it's this is the plugin page you're gonna activate it all right and like i said earlier uh anything that you download remember to go to detail even before you download it click on the pictures and if it's already downloaded go to detail if you click on the picture all right you're gonna see something like this always go to screenshots and the screenshot will tell you what that particular plugin does for you all right and this is what the plugin it's gonna the way it's gonna display on your web page if you do use it all right so and now once you once you download the plugin and you activate it it's gonna automatically show up uh, in a widget page all right you go to widgets
whatever you download here once it's activated it's gonna show up here on the left side of the screen all right if you deactivate it on the plugin page it's gonna remove be removed from the widgets on the left hand side if you scroll okay it says available widgets to activate a widget drag it to a sidebar or click on it to deactivate a widget and delete it its settings drag it back now to activate this to put it into use all you have to do is drag it now when they say sidebar uh, take a look like on this side you have main sidebar showcase footer area one area two and area three in order to use any of this there's a uh, pointing down arrow all right uh, we're gonna use footer area one click on it to open it and you can take any widgets that you want to use here and drag it here but the widget we're gonna use in this situation uh, we're gonna use uh, to display that flash we're gonna use SWF put video player uh, click down on it left click hold your mouse key drag and move up and we're gonna drop it right here I know you see all this it, it looks a little discouraging but do not be discouraged uh, if you if we go through it it says widget title you can give it a title if you want for instance let's just call it web training flash normally for me i don't i don't title it i just leave it blank because i don't i don't want to see anything i don't want the video to have title on my web page so i just leave it blank but for this training purpose i'm going to give it a title it says caption nothing it's a url or media library id for flash video it's asking you for the url www.what is it all right remember what we're trying to display we're trying to display the flash video that we uploaded into the media all right so we're gonna go back into media library this is the flash video when you click on it this url is gonna show up you're gonna highlight it left click uh, down the mouse key hold it down and select and right click and copy and we go back to widgets uh, right click and paste oh no 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 url right click and paste all right we paste that information right there and that is it you can scroll down and read url for html no we don't need nothing else uh, Uh, and we you scroll down what what is a white width white okay what how big do you want it okay I'm gonna just choose 700 that is just me normally uh, video flash are, are always very tiny you know and in most cases they are used for advertisement but for this case I'm gonna make it bigger uh, and I'm gonna make this uh 500 mobile whites disable okay display aspect ratio play on load all right loop play i select allow full screen control by height and click on save all right once you click on save uh, we're gonna go back to the main website so you can see what just took place and refresh right click refresh 
This is it. It's, it's loading, that's why it seems like it's a little slow. Okay, there you go. And forever and ever, without doing anything, it's gonna play forever and ever on its own by itself. Anytime that web page comes up. All right, this is normally used for to display something very important. Uh, about your website this is normally used to display something very important about your website you know once it finished playing it started all over again and again and again and keep in mind that we did not click on anything it just started playing uh, if we go back to widget uh, at the bottom it says play on load check it loop play check it if you don't check play on load and if you don't check loop play for instance let's let's uncheck this and let's uncheck this and let's click save and we're gonna go back to that website again and reload you will see that it will not play by itself you have to click on this to play all right so this is what you have in order for this to play you're gonna have to click on it and when it's finished playing it's just gonna go back to what it was and you have to click on it in order to play it You see, it does not continue to play by itself. All right. Uh, you have to click on it either on the screen or on the play button right here. Now, if you want it to continuously play, you have to click on loop play. All right. Even when you click on loop play and you click save, uh, once the website comes up, it still will not automatically play. You have to click on play or click on the screen all right uh, but once you do that it will play continuously as long as that website is on as long as that page is on uh, once you get out of the page and you come back in it's you're gonna have to click again for that video to play uh, let's see did I refresh this all right but if you want it to automatically load play on load you have to check this and click save now why I'm a little bit detailed about this I want you to pay attention to detail on any of the any of the widgets that you use for your video all right and let's go back and reload all right as you can see it's gonna just automatically play itself without you doing anything or anybody that goes to your website once they get there it's gonna just play and that is the title we gave it earlier on i guess it's it serves a very useful purpose especially when you have a multiple video uh, if this was an advertisement for beauty or uh, online date uh, in this situation we call it web training flash and of course there's a, a button at the bottom that you can click on to enlarge this video so you can see I it hear that sometimes at night in widescreen
all right uh, now that is how you upload flash to your video to your website page uh, on WordPress now the next tutorial I know some of you possibly don't know how to create a flash video all right uh, watch my next tutorial on how to create flash video for website and believe me you can do a lot on your website uh, using flash video for any business that pay you to advertise their product continuously on your site you know uh, maybe you charge them per weekly or monthly or daily however you agree to it uh, a lot of flash video I discourage people from using music or, or word normally flash video I just video without music or, or any word they just play by itself without any audio at the background uh, so it does not uh, create unnecessary dis uh, distraction you know okay enough said on that and this is how you will learn in this tutorial even though it's about flash video we learn about a little bit about how to uh, download plugins for flash video uh, by in case your your WordPress uh, will not allow you to upload flash video go to plugin and download allow SWF upload uh, then if you don't have a plugins for flash video I recommend that you go to plugins again and download SWF put video player all right go and download that plugin SWF put video player right here and go to plugin add new type it in it's gonna come up once it comes up install it activate it and go to widgets and look for it all right drag it to the footer area or once you learn how to use sidebar and showcase sidebar uh, you can put them there uh, for instance if I have to use sidebar for that particular video uh, let's see I'm gonna drag that video to sidebar right there uh, I'm gonna also okay we're just gonna drag that and leave it but the size is too big for sidebar so we're gonna reduce the size from 700 to original which is 200 and 150 and click save and once we refresh this is gonna go completely away there will be nothing on this page all right now we're gonna go to we're gonna go to the page itself this very page which is the web that we're using we're gonna go to the page itself click on web click on page then click on the very page that you're trying to edit all right what we did we drag that plugin into the sidebar all right into the sidebar right here main sidebar we drag it we drag the widget in, inside that and this is the widget right here so what we're about to do we're about to activate that main sidebar for that particular page 
uh, once you this is the page and we click on web all right it does have uh, attributes page attributes on the right side you click on template and go to sidebar template click on update and if you go back to that page right now that web page display sidebar template if you go to that and you refresh that should be showing up on the right hand side of the page and that is the flash and it's gonna automatically load and play forever all right if you want it bigger than that if you want it bigger you can increase the size for instance is 200 right now we can make it one 200 so we can make it 280 reason being that I do not want it to extend over past here so we're gonna make it 280 by 300 so go back to widgets click on that stuff so we're going to change the white to 280 or 280 by 200 save and go back to the website and refresh all right i guess that particular widget has a, a limit normally it's supposed to be bigger than that so let's let's just make it 300 let's see if there's any change that take place reload All right, well, that is that that works with me. I, I guess there is a limit to how big it can get on a on a sidebar. All right, and that is pretty cool. Some of you are possibly wondering how come there is nothing here? Is because you didn't add anything to the page, the content. Like if you say this is the main page, anything you type in here. Let's say you say hello, my name is Michael Obayelo. I'm your instructor for this tutorial. Hope you are enjoying my boring class. And I hope you learn something out of this. And you can you know know that is important and you click on updates now we have something for that page so the page doesn't look so so sorry and you can refresh reload
boom there you go and you keep typing you know if you want to add more stuff to your page all you got to do is just go to for instance if you're gonna make it pop a little bit uh add media either wanna add video or you wanna have this beautiful sexy lady or the other sexy lady down there you know just click on it it's gonna have a check mark click insert there you go just like that and click on up updates and now our website is no longer boring that's boring do you see how we make a change within such a short period of time you see very easy right now that is just uh, it's not really part of this class but i just show you how you can make your website pop within a short period of time uh, now you can also move this from here and put it in uh, this is the sidebar you can use showcase template go back to widgets all right if you don't want to use a sidebar the showcase template already have a whole bunch of videos all right i'm just gonna remove one of them so have you ever mindlessly snacked yeah. i'm gonna remove i think you should try some laughing cow cheese This is not part of this training and I dislike it so much when it comes up. All right. Uh, if you go to the page, page attribute and you click on showcase templates. Now that we have something in showcase, which is a whole bunch of this, all this stuff is in showcase right now. Once you change the page attributes to showcase templates and you click on updates. All right what you see here would go away all right it's gonna uh, other stuff will appear right here that i already uploaded and we're gonna refresh this this is everything else that is in showcase template right now that I pre-design uh, for it and if you want to see your little video that was the flash here if you want to see it here all you have to do is go ahead and drag it from from sidebar drag it to showcase we're gonna put place it on top and if you go back and refresh your page you will see it and that and that is the flash video it's gonna play in a minute there you go there you go your flash video all right if you want that flash video to be much bigger and huge uh, you I recommend that you use photo all right that's the video in showcase all right uh, if you go to the footer area and you drag it down to the footer always remember that there's an arrow here when that arrow is not is pointing down is closed so you can drag anything into it when you want to open it you have to open it so it will be pointing up then you can drag whatever you want down there all right uh, if it's from here you can drag it from here to here and once it's dragged just go back to your web page and reload first of all let's go ahead and uh 
deactivate this put it back to default template update and refresh this page all this thing will go away except your flash video all right and that is the flash video and remember what I said that you can always adjust the size of your flash video seven hundred by five hundred especially when you're using a, a footer you can reload all right I'm not saying that let your video be this big you know what I'm saying so and that is it job well done all right I guess the rest is up to you your imagination how you use it uh, I hope you learned something from this tutorial now my next tutorial is gonna tell you how to create flash video this is about loading flash video there are different programs out there that you can use to create flash video I'm gonna show you on how to create flash video by Michael Obayelo so watch my next tutorial hope you learned something from this uh, teaching you from Atlanta Georgia here in the United States of America it is zero four 14 in the morning 14 minutes past 4 a.m. Here I am talking to you You have a wonderful day morning afternoon and God bless you. Bye. Bye